Брюс Ли и Морта. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. It's who see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of the muscle Cypress Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Griffin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out there. You ready? Okay, you ready? Let's go, boy. Right, here we are at Honda Center in Anaheim, California. And every time I walk into this venue, I can't help but think back to UFC 157 in 2013. The night women were finally welcomed inside the octagon. And uh, good to be back here, obviously, in a venue that has a lot of history. A lot of history for sport, but the biggest night in women's mixed martial arts history. Ronda Rousey defending her title against Liz Harmouche. What a fantastic night. And it showed that night that women could headline shows in main event and bring the fans as well as anyone else in mixed martial arts. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice one, two there. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. 
right hand punch to the clinch. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land a beautiful punch to the head. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Oh, and he lands yet another uppercut. So those strikes have come in bunches tonight, really starting to find some consistency. He's finding consistency because he knows that that is a strike that he can find at any time. He's so confident in finding that uppercut that it's landing over and over again. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, he needed the head. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Over and over. Getting tighter. Oh, wow. Oh! Wow. Come on, just lay on him. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, nice. Single power tie now. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. These guys are going at it. Oh, big punch land. Oh, combination of lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Get back out here and work on that fight. Slice good. There's a lot of blood. Can't go much longer with a cut like this. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Hey, round one, ready? not the round of the year necessarily, but some good enough. And it's not always going to be. We have some very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 
That right hand hurt him a little bit. You got to check these low leg kicks. Big punch from the clinch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm. That is how he scramble, folks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh, that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Ooh, head kick lands. It hurts. Straight punch lands. As he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. And there comes the separation now. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Got the single collar tie. Good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just going. He's like in the zone. It's like a basketball who's become twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus miss in his opponent. Slips the punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And they separate. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice straight punch. Big elbow lands around the side of the guard. Back and forth we go! And he continues to work the body here. He loaded up that right hand too. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Nice head kick. How about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lee gets hit with a kick. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high front. And that's the end of round number two. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. 
All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds. This is what happens. Very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Lands an elbow there, nice job by Lee. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Huge he lands. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Look at the turtle in that kick. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. It's a good right hand right there. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Head kick. Relax, relax. Oh, collar tie. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Good punch, Lance. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. One of the most important strikes from the clinch is this big body shot. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big head kick lands. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Another big head kick lands. You have got to make some adjustments. Left hand punch with the clinch. Ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Great punch. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Big leg kick land. Watch knees to the body. That's a big strike right there. Look at him drive his shin into his whole body with that body kick. Put any weight on it. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Checks that leg kick. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. 
20 seconds to go. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Boom. Went inside on that leg kick through the jab left hook and went inside. Usually, you know, you see guys throwing the outside kick there. That was nice. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. There we go. Ooh, big shot, man. Gets the elbow up into the target. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Right hook to the head block. Oh, eats a knee. Right hand punches the clinch. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. Elbow lands for him. Beautiful wide kick. Nice elbow in the clinch there up top by Lee. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, big diving punch to the head. Trying to pass the guard here. A nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Ground and pound strike is true. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the finish. And he's out. Lee's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle pick. If he would have drove into his opponent, maybe he would have secured the top position. Well, shades of Cormier against Dan Henderson back in the day just slammed his opponent to the ground. I mean, just slammed him, lifted him up, and almost treated him like a baby. You can pick a guy up off his feet, it's so discouraging for men that are used to being the alphas in all situations. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. A oh, little single collar tie there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Big kick land. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Ooh, what a punch. Right 
to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience. Yes, I do. Horrible. And he landed the right hand there. Leg kick checked by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice punch, man, over the top. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Oh, dude just got worked by that uppercut. His chin went all the way up to the ceiling. 15 seconds. Oh, single collar tie here. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice jab by Lee. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50, because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, nice bite down guys, the ready? mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. tie now. Liver kick. Yeah. He's very tricky to throw that body kick. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Big punch land. Ooh. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh, eats a knee. Nice head kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Lands the grounded pound strike here. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Well, in case of pick your poison here, if you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Lee gets caught with that punch. Put your hands up higher. Come on. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Big kick land. Hey, big right hook coming. It's blocked. What a body kick. Just missed with the leg kick. What a punch. Tie now. And they separate. Head kick land. All right, under two minutes. What a pressure. That was an amazing kick now. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Stay sharp. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Tags him with the left. He comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands his nasty elbow. All right, getting late in the fight right now, DC. Dream fight for the fans, maybe not so much for the judges. It's been back and forth. It's been so close. I would not want to be sitting at the judges' table right now. I don't know who's winning this fight. Nice. Beautiful leg kick throw. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lee's kick is blocked. Got a single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you've got to go to the judges, 